Alright, <clears throat> and we are back for 100% Live, episode 3. Uh, yeah, we in this episode we're going to be going through at least 3 matches. That's what I'm going for for 100% Live. So we'll be doing Southampton away, which is going to be rough as hell. Uh, Juventus away, which is going to be rough as hell. And Sunderland home, which is probably going to be fine. And then Sunderland away, which is probably going to be fine. And then if we can stretch it, we'll do Everton away as well. Which is probably going to be rough as hell. <laughs> So let's get things going, shall we? So Diego Costa is finally back to full training. He had a bit of a run out against West Ham, who we beat three <coughs> two. If I can't remember right, the only loss we had so far, in fact, the only points we've dropped so far are against uh, Stoke away. So that's that's unfortunate. <laughs> well, at least um, what's his name, Mark Hughes, won second manager of the month. So Stoke have probably done pretty well for themselves, fair play. Let's have a look. It would be in fixtures. Where would fixtures be these days? Where would fixture? Oh, schedule. <laughs> All right. Yes, they have actually. They haven't lost yet, but they've only played two prime games. How's that? Happen? Oh, they're playing on Monday, which is tonight. Come on, West Brom. Actually, come on, Stoke. If Stoke win three games in a row, that proves that we weren't shit. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Which would be fun. Transfer deadline day. Ooh. And Loriente is available for shit tons of money. We we can't. Kurt Zuma is not going out on loan. Reject. Um, we, we can't. We can't do that deadline day, I'm afraid. We don't have any money for it. Which is probably a good thing. We've wrapped up our business early. Hulk is out for ages, though. I'm really disappointed in the fact that we haven't got Hulk to, to you know bolster the attack. But we've been doing alright for goals. I mean, we've scored, what, five goals in three games, which isn't dreadful. Okay. Oh, no. Eh, whatever. <laughs> My boiler is going off, if that's, if you can hear that. Oh, God. One second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I should be stopping soon. I know I said 100% live, but I have to cut some things out. <laughs> All right, we are back. We are back. Yeah, that was my boiler. It should be stopping shortly. Anyway, yeah, what transfers have we got? Who the hell is Alex Kiwum Kuimia? What the hell? He's English. This is insane. He's got to... Where's his second nationality? He's got to have one. Okay, he's from Uganda. And he's terrible. He's dreadful. All right, who wants him? Bradford. Take him. I don't care. <laughs> What? Why have they withdrawn their loan offer? Have they figured out that they want to go for other loanies or something? Arsenal buy someone. That's good to see. Major transfers. Where's ours? Really? Really? Major, major transfers with Jan Vertonghen, Alessandro Flo uh, Florenzi, and Wellington Nem, who is also known as Wellington, I think. He's actually really good. Um, but yet, freaking Hulk all in there. Really? Really? Okay. Alright, is there anybody missing who should be in the Champions League squad? Mohamed Salah and Kurt Zuma. Nah, go on. Don't need Mohamed Salah and Kurt Zuma. Kurt Zuma, maybe. Actually, Kurt Zuma, probably, but yeah. Ooh, a lot of good loanies so far. Fernando Torres has scored a goal in, a, uh, in one appearance. Not bad. Not bad. Victor Moses is not doing great. Oh no, he's doing fine. Atsu is doing fine. He's only had one appearance. And so far, Omeru, who plays freaking defense, is doing really well out on loan at uh, Middlesbrough. <laughs> I just realized what I just said. Middlesbrough. Yeah, oh well. Torres is not coming back, so. Well, probably. So, I'll be fine. I'm also fine with this. Yeah, this is the champ. This is the Premier League registration, which is fine. Fine, 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 fine. All right. Backroom advice meeting. I think we will attend that. Ooh, Grenier. Our new signing has gone into the French squad. Oh God. Who's unhappy? Okay, I don't care about you. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 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 
I'm not going to look at new squad, uh, staff members till the end of the season. He's not a key player. What are you on about? Current formation. Yay, thank you. I appreciate that. Really? Ed Nazar shouldn't be taking penalties. Concentrate on youth. Let's have a look at our youth team. We haven't seen them this season so far. Anybody with some serious potential? No. No. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Anyone in our under 21s that has some good potential? Persistent reports. Ooh. Better. Better. Why do we have no. Why don't we know the knowledge of our own. Like, why don't we know for sure our own player's ability? Like, I'm sorry, that was terrible. What am I looking at? Oh, there we go. Reports. Scout report. How come we don't have that ability? Whatever. Sure, we'll we'll pick up. We'll uh, we'll promote some youth players eventually. Probably should have held some sort of friendly in this time because we have a lot of players not on international duty. Should be alright though. How is is Costa off with like Spain or something? If he is, I'll be thoroughly disappointed <laughs> because he is just back from injury. How's the squad doing? Hulk still injured. Felipe Luis still injured. They've they have definitely toned down on the in, on the injuries this year. Oh well, fingers crossed. Touch wood. I've only had three so far. Hulk, um, Costa, and ooh. All right. Try to minimize. So I don't. I just restarted the recording for the hell of it. Uh, so yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Costa, Hulk, and. Uh, Felipe Luis are the only three that have been injured for me so far, so it's been a relatively fine uh, inj injury season so far. I'm going to look at those uh, physical stats and seeing that I think Petr Cech is the tallest. No, Tibu is taller than them. I think Tibu Koto is the tallest guy in the squad. Yep. And then the heaviest. Cech is heavier at 90. Ooh, 91. John Terry is the heaviest so far. I think he's on... I think Didier Drogba is just as heavy as John Terry. Oscar is apparently tiny. Yeah, 91. Interesting. How Drogba is, is very, very heavy. Very strong. Oh, let's have a look at his strength. Let's see how we can best use Didier Drogba. Strength 18. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, Didier. Not bad at all. Hey, Didier Drogba retired from international football on my birthday. Okay, yep, Intel fit. Go for it. I, I do like that indeed, that uh, you can set availability for the under-21s based on their fitness and shit. That's, that's really cool. And plus you can say that they can come off when they're match fit, which is awesome. Again, awesome. <laughs> I do I do like these additions. Roy Hodgson. Jagielka brought into the England squad. First Spain goal for Diego Costa. Well done for scoring. Uh, congratulate you on scoring your first goal for Spain. That is a fantastic attitude. Well done, Diego. What? This is awesome. this is an interesting news article. Man United have produced the most footballers currently earning a living playing across the elite divisions in the world. Man United have been responsible for the development of 20, 32 players either in La Liga, Premier League, Bundesliga, Serie A, or the Portuguese, or Liga Zagora, or something like that, Portuguese Premier League. The numbers are based on a recent study, okay, after Man United, the most prolific producers of talent are Arsenal and Chelsea, rounding out the top 10 are Tottenham, Man City, Liverpool, Aston Villa, Everton, Southampton, and West Ham. Huh. Okay. That's an interesting little tidbit. Thank you for that. Alright, well, we've had a lot of time off. Hoping that's give, uh, made us extra prepared for this match. Um, Alright, send the European... Send the scouts to the, to, the, to the Champions League. Got no problems in that. Uh, we have Juventus. Juventus. Juventus on... Uh, on Wednesday, but we sh I don't know, maybe we'll just play our first team in both games. Edison Cavani, no. I'm not signing Cavani. 
At least, probably not. <laughs> Maybe, actually. Don't know. Depends what happens next week. Um, Liverpool, Man City. Ooh. See how that goes. We will check the other results now. Oh, Liverpool beating Man City. Wow. Liverpool might be good on this game. Shocker. <laughs> Arsenal destroy Hull. Stoke beat Tottenham. Stoke are on the rampage. Does Crystal Palace beat Ar um, Newcastle? Everton beat Swansea and West Ham beat West Brom in the Western Derby. <laughs> Alright, so. What to do with this game and, well, just in general for... Ooh, Branislav's injured. Two to four days. Is that something new? No, where is... Nope, Todd Kane, you're not going out on loan. Where's Branislav being injured? Must have been injured on international duty. Well, that means Aspilicueta goes over and Felipe Luiz, who has just returned from injury himself, will play. Uh, Todd Kane will probably come on eventually. And Diego Costa replaces Didier Drogba. And aside from that, I think that's our first team. I reckon we start with our first team and see where it goes from there. Yeah. We'll play... Um, I think we'll play uh, Czech on... against Juventus. Alright, show on to weaker foot. Shane Long, you want to always tackle hard and close it down. Musa Sau, oh god. Shane Long and Musa Sau is a reasonably difficult. Is a, is a very diff Actually, this is a very good front three. Pele, always mark close and tackle normal because he's not that fast. Alright, should be alright. Alright, so welcome to. Chelsea versus Southampton away. This is going to be a difficult match, but I think we can come away with a win. I want them to show some some serious passion in order to get this match up and running. So come on, Chelsea. Let's get some proper passion in this game. Uh, we've just come back from international break, which is why some of these players are a bit knackered. Felipe Luiz has returned from injury. Uh, Branislav Ivanovic picked up an injury on international break, uh, which means we have to replace him with... Aspilicueta, who was originally on the left-hand side. Louise comes back from injury probably a little too early, uh, playing on the left-hand side. We've also got um, Todd... Oh, what's his name? Todd... Todd Kane, I think it is. Uh, the young right-back on the bench. Shane Long, he's unlucky there. Diego Costa does really well coming off his line. Unfortunate with the pass, though. Uh, Louise has already got a few knocks. He should be all right. Fabregas, good ball. Ooh! Costa looked like he had just steadied himself, like properly got himself in a position to shoot, and then he just blazes wide. Felipe Luis is not uh, not looking good. Nemanja Matic also looks tired. And that's, that's somehow not gone in. <laughs> Southampton just wrecking us from corners at the moment. Well, from that one corner at the moment. Felipe Luis has played well, but he is looking that good. Musa Sao. I'm surprised they've put Musa Sao out wide. He's not the fastest of people. <laughs> Good header. Oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful stuff from Chelsea. Why did you shoot? <laughs> I've got to stop telling him to shoot. I'm going to actually go to Advanced Tactics right now, go over to Player, and tell you guys to stop shooting so much. Tell you to stop shooting so much. Confirm changes. Yes. And go. There you go. Nemanja Matic has been error prone today. We need to turn our possession to something substantial. Okay. Assertively, not happy. Start second half. New team talk. Uh, assertively. Push forward. And I want to demand more out of uh, out of Mania Matic. Alright. So there's Nemanja Matic. I don't know if my team talk has reached him yet. <laughs> Our possession actually isn't as good as first half by the looks of things. Pella. Oh my god! Vic Wanyama! <laughs> Apparently that's his first ever goal for Southampton. That is a screamer. That is something special from Victor Wanyama. Pella. He was given way too much space there. Who is marking Vic Wanyama? Whoa, god damn. Victor Wanyama 
claws down. Sensational strike for, from the lad, mind. And Felipe Luis is obviously knackered, so he gets a bit of a, a rest, and Todd Kane can come on for him. I have to commend him for com for carrying on as long as uh, as long as he did. Well, we I think we've played well. We just need to we just need to get that goal, I think, and then it'll probably spur us on if we can get it. Oh, and Hazard's picked up on a bit of a mistake there. And he's still shooting, but it wasn't an awful shot this time. Schuler can't get under that. That's really poor from Andreas Schuler. But Nathaniel Klein, too heavy of a touch. They're still in, though. If Klein can whip it in, and that's it. Southampton have beaten us. That's disappointing. Ah, that's really disappointing. Our away record has started really poorly this season. It's hard to tell what's going wrong away from home. It is, it's gotta be, yeah, we haven't scored yet. It's goals. And we're not missing any of our key players either. I and mean, we were missing Costa at, uh, at Stoke, but, and I guess we are missing Hulk, but even then I think we should be, should be creating the chances. Kale just doesn't even bother trying to win that ball. Sheila runs himself into a corner. Oof, Harry. Todd Kane. Everyone's ugh, everyone's looking furious. The game just hasn't gone our way. Southampton have outplayed us in every respect, really. Just waiting for the whistle to go now. There we go. That's a disappointing loss away from home. You weren't good enough today. And Hazard, you weren't good enough either. Calmly. Not happy with your performance. We had lots of possession. We just didn't do anything with it. That's a problem. Oh well. <clears throat> we move on. Next game is Juventus in the Champions League. <sighs> we have some positives. Vic Wanyama. Yeah. Alright. Come on. <clears throat> We need to get a win at U of A. We really do need to win at U of A. Just get our season back on track. Make sure we get our Champions League off to a, a good start. Man United smash Sunderland. Absolutely smash them. Okay. Easier brown shirt. Have a good... I think... I think I've lent some people out to Bradford already this season. I remember seeing Bradford come in for Alpha. Maybe I'm wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, I guess the the game's gone now, is it? No, no, we can still do it. Needing match fitness, all of these players. Okay. Well, no, because most of them are probably going to play on Wednesday. So, no. <laughs> None of them are going to play in the under-21s. Hey, hey. Speak to Brown. Alright. You're probably not going to play for Chelsea, mate. But hey, sure. If you if you want to go off on loan, whatever way you want to justify it. Bradford come in for another offer. You are not getting Todd Kane. Todd Kane is staying here. Todd Kane is definitely staying here. Yeah, Denark out injured. Morrison out injured. Alright, Juventus. Here we go. Oof. One second before we go off and fight Juventus to scout the Capital One Cup. Go back, scout the Capital One Cup. All right. What team to pick for the Capital One Cup uh, for the Champions League? Branislav is still incredibly injured. How is Louise doing? Zuma can't play. Louise is pretty dead. Yeah. So we'll play. We'll play. Todd Kane and Aspilicueta on the left. We will play Lewis Baker and Lloyd Grammy. What position is Lloyd Grammy play? Nah, you can play Porcher. Yeah, you play Porcher. Shula, Azad, Fabregas. Yeah, yeah. With uh, Ivanovic on the bench. 
I'm actually play we'll play Grenier as well. Here we go. It's experimental side, but it's still I think strong enough. I've picked the, th the team I feel about gives us the best chance of uh, winning. <laughs> He's just being rested. Nothing more than that. All right, I'm just gonna apply the uh, assistance advice. Okay, calmly. Let's give the fans a good performance. All right, here we go. This is gonna be an interesting one. This is gonna be a difficult game. So, team talk. Calmly. Tighten up. Aspilicueta wins it well. And then he just boots it down the pitch. <laughs> oh, Aspilicueta. I've, I have, I, he's good. Most of the time. Oh, Patrice Ever has been allowed way too much space. Way too much space. Nightmare. It's a problem, it's a problem we've had with our fullbacks since pre-season is they're just giving the uh, the wide players way too much space and they're, they're getting in that way we got no players forward we we got we got a few problems we need to sort out. I just don't know how to do it we've got enough players playing in attacking positions but we're just not getting the ball to them That's just simple. We've got enough height, we've got enough strength to defend set pieces, but we just can't do it. And as as usual, Shula is not uh, not playing great. I'm gonna just demand a bit more as Tevez is about to rip us another arsehole. Oh, I forgot to play check. I wanted to play check today. It wouldn't matter, I don't think. Although check is just that little bit stronger. <laughs> Fabregas. Hazard. Well, he gets the goal. Aiden Hazard. He gets us back in it. Game on, really. We haven't been in the game, but that goal, that goal puts us in it. But John Terry is looking frustrated, so... Let's calm down. Let's, uh... I can't make one. <laughs> Great. Poor kick. And now Fernando Loriente is probably going to make us pay. <laughs> that, is a, that is a wicked shot. Alright, it's assertively in courage. But with John Terry. Uh, calmly. Calm down. And with you. Calm down. Anybody else? Yep, yeah, Andre Schuler. Actually, no, if you're looking frustrated, I think encourage will work. So come on, get out there. Now John Terry is seeming very frustrated. Alright, unlucky boys. Unlucky, even though I think you've been terrible. Unlucky. Second half, we have kickoff. Can we make make the most of it? It's into Shula, so probably not. And then Lichtenstein just makes it. John Terry is looking furious right now. Todd Kane. Schuler, and it all came from Schuler. Schuler is being dreadful recently. That's it. You're coming off. I'm skipping. I'm skipping the replay. Skipping the replay. I don't know what else to do. We can bring on the uh, DJ Drogba. Play as target man. So I really don't. Team talk. Aggressive. Demand more. Good throw. That time he actually got on the end of it, but we're just not getting any we're not getting the ball down and actually playing it. That's the problem, is that uh, we've been playing a possession football style all, all season. Well, so far. <laughs> and they've just beaten us to it today. I think, um, I don't know, I'm giving them too much credit, perhaps, but, I mean, Juventus are a really good team. I don't, I don't think I, I, but at the same time, we really should be playing better than this. We really should. I'm going to play Ivanovic. I'm going to bring him on for Kale, because 
I, I just don't think there's any way back in this game now and Tails knackered. So Ivanovic is just going to come on to get some match fitness back. And that's 4-1. <laughs> uh, that is, that is, that's a really poor result, even if it is away at uh, at Juventus. That is a that is a poor result. Uh, ah well, look, we move on. We do. We've had two poor results now. We got battered at Southampton. We've got battered down here at uh, Juventus Stadium. We move on. Not up. Shit. Shit. I I should have said I'm not happy, but whatever. Should have done better than that. We're gonna need to improve. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week for the Sunday game. Yeah, you can go off alone. I'm not gonna go to the press conference. I just I, I want to get I just want to get back into winning ways. I just want to get to the Sunderland game. You no reject. Todd Kane, where are you? There. Transfer status. Not available for loan. I'm playing him, goddammit. Oh, my head, dude. <laughs> Alright, so what's going to we do to Sunderland? What is our tactic looking like first? Is Are, are we fully fluid on it? Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. How is Chelsea not... For, uh, I was just not familiar with that formation. It's like their formation. <sighs> the players are raring to go. They're a little fragile and we will take advantage of that. No. I will not feel the weakened team. We will be killing them, hopefully. <laughs> That's the aim, to kill them. Alright, here we go. Man, United, Man City drop points at against Southampton, just like we did, except Southampton were away for that one. Liverpool bat a QPR 5 1, Man United beat Leicester, Swansea and Arsenal play out a draw, and Newcastle beat Aston Villa. Alright, this is Chelsea versus Sunderland. What kind of team am I going to put out for this one? Well, I'm going to start Ped to check. I think he deserves a start. He hasn't had one yet. Uh, I'm not going to play Felipe Luiz. I'm going to play Branislav Vanovic, Terry Kale. I'm going to bring back Ramirez and, Oscar, uh, Ramirez and Matic. No, I'm going to play Fabregas Hazard. I'm not going to play Schuller because I, I did. I thought he was despicable midweek. <laughs> I'm going to play Willian instead. Although Willian hasn't been much better. I haven't liked Shula recently at all. Like Remy on the bench. Yep. Yeah. That's my team. How much of a boost is John O'Shea? Passionately. It makes things easier. Apply the advice. And... Assertively. I expect to be a much better performance tonight. Team talk. Assertively. Show some passion. Up to Diego Costa. Oh my god. Unlucky for fair enough, fair enough, unlucky. Right, Fabregas. Matic. Good ball. Come on, drive. You have to look where to drive. Nice. Nice. And that's poor. <laughs> unlucky though, we're playing well to start. Kale can't quite get his head on it. Willian saves the possession. Ramirez, Matic. Good tight passing. Come on, boys. Oh, come on, play in Ivanovic. There we go. Come on, Ivanovic, drive. Good driving. Oh, oh. oh the ref's saying he's dived. He's giving him a yellow card for diving. I think it was a clear pen, personally. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. Oh, nice from Ramirez. Great feet. And Hazard has won that. He's got to finish it. Oh, my God. Eden Hazard has started the season really well and then just pitted off. He just can't finish easy chances there. We started the first half an hour really well. 
And I'm hoping that that wasn't our only chance. Well, Ramirez has won that. Matic. Good offload. Fabregas. Hits Hazard. Can he whip one in from there? He can. Nobody can get a shot away, though. That's a really good play from Hazard. Maybe we should switch him out into our left-hand side permanently. Uh, right-hand side. Because he's, he's been a lot better at crossing it so than he has been shooting. Assertively, I'm not happy. Not happy. And Diego uh, Costa seems aggressive. Um, you've been unlucky. He <laughs> still seems pretty aggressive. <laughs> Terry, Ivanovic, come on. It's not a bad knock, but Willian's not going to get to it, apparently. And already we're not doing great. Alright, I haven't seen Seth Fabregas touch the ball today, so we're going to bring on Oscar. And Oscar almost scored! He gets the assist, and Willian pokes home the first. Right, it's been a tough old night down here at Stamford Bridge, but we eventually find the breakthrough. Oh, that wasn't a penalty, I don't know, but Oscar with a free kick, and Willian does knock it home. Chelsea 1, Southampton 0. Spilicueta with a throw in. Kale can't get his head to it. Spilicueta will try again. And if Rodwell gets there, okay. John Terry. We need to, like, sure up now, I think. <laughs> Before I go for a tight nap instruction, I'll we'll move. We'll, we'll watch this highlight. Hazard almost scores, and Diego Costa pokes it. Oh, he's offside. That's, that's disgusting. Damn it. God damn it. I'm going to... I'm going to change things around a little bit in between episodes. I'm going to change the tactics to not let the two wingers switch because I feel like uh, I feel like that is hurting the tactic. I feel like that's... A pro I, I don't think that they that, that ability to switch helps at all. I, th I think it hurts more than it helps. I, I just I got to figure out which side... Eden Hazard is stronger on before I do that. I, I think I'm gonna, probably going to try him on the right next week or midweek against Sunderland again. We have kept mighty possession lately. <laughs> Ramirez is reprimanded. We have, we have not played well apparently. It has been a bit of a slap bang night, and that's it. It's a deserved victory, but it's not quite there. I think that was a good win. Well done, lads. Doesn't matter whether we win or not. Uh, where, where, uh, what type of performance it is. All well, matters is points on the board. So well then. Alright. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys midweek for the other Sunderland game. Alright. Sunderland. Versus Chelsea in the Capital One Cup. Again, I do want to change my tactics. If I look at them. There you go. I'm going to set player instructions. You. Stop swapping. None. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how that helps Hazard. I, I think he is better on the right, though. That's the only problem, is, is I've now... I've now changed my opinion that, that he might be best on the right, or maybe on the left. He's probably best inside. I might try something against... Yeah, I will. I'm going to try something against someone tomorrow and I'll play Sesc Fabregas uh, a little further back, because that's not something I've done so far this season. And then we'll see... And then we'll see how he does and see how that will affect the Everton game which will be the last game of this session alright so first of all Fabregas comes back into this Ramirez role and obviously plays a bit of a different role as a deep line playmaker support and then Ramirez well I obviously replace Ramirez with Hazard yeah works for me put Willian out there and Schuller out there with Costa yep yeah. and then keep checking goals and put Hazard as a shadow striker. There you go. There you go. Let's see how this works. I, am, I, I hope we don't leave too much uh, space in between the defence and the midfield. That's the only thing I'm wondering about today. Alright, so welcome to the Sunderland Chelsea Capital One Cup game. The only changes we made, we brought uh, Seth Fabregas back into midfield more. And pushed uh, Eden Hazard as the number ten in in the number ten role, and we took Ramirez out of the team, 
and replaced him with, ah, yes, that's our goal. Replaced him with uh, Shula, who's gone back out left, and Williana stayed out right. So, Shula back in my good books, maybe, after his atrocious performances leading to a drop. I dropped him for a game. Tenacity, aggression, and determination led to him getting a goal here at the Stadium of Light. Capital One Cup. Jack Arini. Sunderland have looked dangerous, and there's the goal. What did I say? <laughs> Cabral. Well, this is looking like a, a rough and tumble game. I am going to tell him to show some more creativity, I think. Suitively. Get creative. Pantomil on. Oh, William. Diego Costa! How is he offside? Ah! Hazard can't win it. Willian's still there. Hazard's still there. Willian. He's probably going to take that on. Schuller. It slipped in. Off Pantamillion. That's unfortunate for Pantamillion. But Schuller is having the time of his life out there. That is, that is, that is, that is not, not very nice to see. <laughs> that is not nice to see. And Hazard was apparently offside on the 26th minute. Andre Schiele is looking very calm out there. <laughs> Fabregas, further back. I haven't seen him touch the ball much today either. Hopefully he's just controlling the game though. It does look like he's being marked completely out of the game by Seb Larson, mind. Oh, and Ivanovic loses the ball in a poor position. And Jacarini. It's a great save from Peter Cech. Peter Cech. Peter Cech. Peter Cech. Connor Wickham. Seb Quartes is a huge lump. Gotta watch him. And Conor Wickham has followed it through. And this game is turning out to be a cluster frick. <laughs> Again, why is this why is this camera view? Ugh, there's just no defensive uh, effort going on here. One sec. Drop. No, I'll just take that instruction off. Aggressively. I'm far from pleased, lads. Come on, let's get out there and actually... Play a controlling style. Maybe we should. No, that's. Maybe we should switch to a control style. Maybe that will get a grasp of the game better. Because, I mean, counter doesn't mean like I'm sitting back and waiting for them to attack and then countering them that way. It just means where we're slowly building up our play. But maybe control is probably a better idea for what I want to do! Andre Schuler! Take a bow, son. Sensational strike from the German. Right across the floor. And Pantamillion has not played well at all, but that is a very good strike from the German. 3-2. There's a lot of game left to be played. A lot of game left to be played. And here's it. Uh, uh, Willian. Ivanovic. Come on, you got to whip that in. Referee. Clearly a foul. I'm not liking Ivanovic tonight. Maybe he's just unfit. From his injury. Connor Wickham is being... Oh. Oh. Jacarini and Johnson. Easy. Easy football. Ridiculous. Ah, oh, Dreadful. Not good to see at all. Not happy with that. We need to be playing wider. We need to be defending wider. So... I think we need to be more fluid, and to do that we need, to, like, that's how we get wider, one sec, we can also play wider, yeah, because right now we are, we are way too, um, we are way too, too narrow in our defence, we're letting way too much space across the rings, the rings, the wings, oh, as soon as I go wider they exploit the, the centre, can't do anything. Sunderland have just beaten us tonight. Sunderland are just better. <laughs> it's just ridiculous if you think about it. I don't know what Czech's doing, but uh, but yeah, that's that's something else. Sunderland are outplaying us. There's nothing I can say about it really. <laughs> I I don't know how to counter this. Cesc Fabregas. It's a good play. 
Felipe Luis, can you get something in? My frame rate is starting to drop. Shula! Oh, he's off, isn't he? He's got to be off. He's been fouled, though. Ah. It's 4-3, I can't believe that. I, I really... I don't know what to do. Um, take Willian off, because he's done nothing. And put Oscar in the middle with Eden Hazard on the right. See if that does anything. Jones. Louise back to check. It's a good ball from check. What can Aspilicueta do? Lays it off. Hazard can't do much. Good ball inside. That's really good. Ah, that's a nucky. That's good effort though. Damn, we obviously didn't do anything with that corner. I can't believe we lost, yeah. I really can't. We have lost really badly here. If we had defended just a little bit better, or passed just a little bit better. Uh, we have got such a dreadful away record this season. I can't believe that. We we had less possession down there tonight. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys for the uh, for the Everton game away. Ugh, we're gonna get battered. I'm I'm not happy with that at all. I'm gonna. Uh, can I do a team meeting? Because I want to. I really want to, but I feel like I'm probably gonna screw it up. We are the best of starts. Oh shit. I just screwed everything up. I knew I would. They haven't been playing well though. Even if uh even if we had a couple of W's. We haven't played well away from home at all. Damn. Damn damn damn. Alright, one more game and then I'm gonna end the recording session off. I'm not, I'm just not gonna bother with press conferences. We're, we're fine, we're fine. Crawley's off, uh, yeah, okay, fine. You can have him, I'm not using him on my first team, so you can have him on loan, it's fine. Come on. <clears throat> One more win to end off the recording sesh. Hulk is not back yet. I need Hulk back. Oh, two weeks, not too bad. Alright, well, I'm going to put Fabregas back in, the, in, the, in that position. I'm going to bring Ramirez back. going to keep Azard, Shula, do what I got. I'm going to switch from round, actually. I'm going to put him back in the Ram Deuter role. Because he seemed to play well out there last time. Check, I probably shouldn't have stayed. <laughs> Alright, so welcome to the Everton game. One more win to end off the session. Come on. Team selection is offered little by way of surprise. I would make a slight favourite. Apply team advice and passionately. Go out there and give the fans the money's worth. I believe in you, John. There we go. See, John is, is motivated now. What a what a turn from Matic. And here we go. Oh, Sylvan Distan winning it. Samuel Etu started. Hmm. Gareth Barry. Lukaku. Good save. Alright, that's Villa Quetta. Show why you actually deserve to be in the team after your dreadful midweek performance. We need to be dealing with Romelu Lukaku's aerial progress. I thought just putting John Terry on the pitch meant I could deal with Romelu Lukaku's aerial pro uh, prowess. <clears throat> and that's in. <laughs> Now, why am I going overload so early? I am rushing it. I am being hasty. This is not a good idea. Shit, that was a hell of a leap. I am going overload far too early. Alright, check. <laughs> we have been torn to shreds recently. 
It's not just like the good teams either. We got destroyed by Sunderland midweek. We've lost. Well, no, actually, we did beat Sunderland last week in the Premier League one nil. I think it was. <laughs> but aside from that, we've lost to Juventus. We lost to Southampton. We lost to uh, Sunderland midweek. If we lose this tonight, we are literally in the shit. We uh, the, our season has gone to shit. I'm gonna be sacked any day now. I don't know what to do. I really don't. I don't see what's wrong with the team. We should be winning these games. Like, what is... Do I need to... One sec. Do I need to just... Def do, do I need to keep a flat back line? Do I need to just defend for my life? Defend. There you go. Wait. Full back. Defend. Full back. Defend. There you go. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Full back, defend. All right, let's see how that goes. I don't think it'll go well, but we'll see if that means so we can uh, we can better defend because we can't defend at the moment. It doesn't help that we can't attack today. We can usually attack, but we can't defend today. We can't do it either. Go to my pitch. Team talk. Touchline aggressively. Demand more. Uh, this is just, I just... I really don't... We are not doing anything. Lukaku. <laughs> Lukaku it would have it just summed up the session, really, if Lukaku had scored from there. It's not been a good recording session for me, I'm afraid. And we've got 20 minutes to turn this around. And... We can't. I'm just waiting for the final whistle now, honestly. I'm not going to do anything in the last 18 minutes, in the last 10 minutes. I might as well, um, I might as well give it a try. It's a good ball. That's, that's ridiculous. That is, that is ridiculous. <laughs> that's, that's it. It's hard. It's hard to come up with things to say when you're losing this badly, because it's it, you shouldn't be. And then, and, and when you see shots like that, you just like the game just makes your team shit on shit days. It's it's hard to say. It's hard to say. There you go. That's it. Everton deserve their win. Apparently, we played dreadfully. So, ugh. I'll see you guys next week uh, or midweek for the Olympiacos game. And that's it for 100% Live Episode 2. So, oh, Episode 3. I'll see you guys, uh, well, next time I can be asked. <laughs> uh, impressions of the game so far, pretty good, but that yeah, suffers from the usual FM shit. FM cheese. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.